Check you're allowing, you're allowing the video to start. You can do whatever you want, because I'm releasing it. Anything? It's going to be a real <laughs> uh -huh. So no sound and no overlay? No sound, no overlay. All right. So when you boot it up, it comes up with this test screen. Um, the dev board has a 100-pin socket on the back that, can, that, that connects to the character board. That would actually, you could program it from the PC-98 to upload the data on the cards. And that's what these things do, this, car this card to file, a tool game, we could open it, and there's all these goofy menus, none of them work. Because there was actually probably a uh, software running on the PC that would link back and forth to it, so mm. none of this works. We can go in and look at it, load, well, nothing there, nothing. We reset it. Because once you open that, it freaks out the game, so we got to redo it. Mm. And you go fight. Wow. And there it is. No idea the name. It is... Several characters aren't even complete. He's got a dummy sprite. This guy has a dummy sprite, but he's got his, his uh, avatar. Hmm. I've seen this before. Yeah, it was, it was one of the, the games on the Sizzle Reel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you think someone would have recognized it? I'm pretty sure after it gets out that it The art reminds me of Cosmic Carnage. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Let's get into a fight. It's glitchy. It is glitchy. I, I cre recreated the... Start the the bars on this on the character file. But what's interesting, hold on. The in-game menu, you could change the characters. Oh, and if you see this guy's lawful, you could change them to neutral or chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> and depending depending on what class you pick, down here there is a a uh, uh, power bar. It'll go bigger if you're lawful, smaller if you're chaotic. Hmm. You can't of course you can't see it now, but did you there, no, this this is this is. Oh, so game. you know the character's name? Yeah, the, this is all part of the game. Okay, that's good. Yeah, when you recreated the the pixel layer, which has the fonts. Right. So I just made these fonts come in. I ripped it from some other game. When when you program Neo Geo games, every game it has the font in the same exact location. So even if you use a different font, if it's in the same spot, the game will know to use the same character. Hmm. Exactly. So I'll show you an example here. So he's lawful right now. Okay. See, he's sitting there and he's kind of calm. Let's make him. Neutral. Now he's a little bit more aggressive. Now let's make him chaotic. Now he's kind of pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see, yeah, several of the sprites aren't even. He's got like a Chun Li. <laughs> Another cool thing every stage has four backgrounds early morning. Early afternoon, late afternoon, and night. And every single one of them is animated differently. So let's change this one to 